Now for the news in detail. In local news, the People's Friendship University of the Russian Federation has conferred an honorary doctorate on President Rajapaksa. The conferment has been made in special recognition of the Sri Lanka leader's outstanding contribution towards fostering world peace and his success against terrorism. The Sri Lankan president is visiting Russia at the invitation of his Russian counterpart Dmitry Medvedev and to participate in the 50th anniversary celebrations of People's Friendship University. The university, by unanimous decision, decided to make the honorary doctorate award in recognition of his outstanding contribution towards fostering world peace and for his contribution for the development of comprehensive Sri Lanka-Russia bilateral ties, including in the spheres of culture and education. It is understood that President Rajapaksa's success against terrorism has considerably contributed towards the decision by the university to confer the degree. It is learned that on the 5th of February 1992, Patricia Lumumba University was renamed People's Friendship University of Russia State Institute of Higher Education. Since 1995, the university has been awarding Dr. Honoris Causa to distinguished persons for outstanding academic achievements in the fields of science and education and to world leaders in recognition of their contribution towards fostering world peace. The awardees so far include five presidents and two prime ministers from around the globe. Bilateral relations between Sri Lanka and Russia flourish. It is in such an environment that the Sri Lankan president is visiting Russia, the first by a Sri Lankan head of state, with the intention of giving a powerful impetus to the future further expansion of mutual relations. <laughs> The Russian Federation, which is enriched with many natural resources, had been maintaining outstanding relations with Sri Lanka for several years. There is information that a Russian consulate was established in Sri Lanka's Gaul city in the year 1891. Well-known Russian writers Anton Shekhov and Ivan Bunin visited Ceylon at the end of the 19th century. When revolutions were taking place in Russia leading to a change in world politics, communist ideals nurtured Sri Lankan politics. It is in the year 1957 that official diplomatic ties between Sri Lanka and Russia were established. The growth in relations then took place in many sectors including social, economic and politics. Presently, Russia and Sri Lanka enjoy gradual growth in bilateral trade. Since 2002, Russia holds a stable position of leading importer of Sri Lankan tea. Besides tea, Russia also imports many other Sri Lankan products including rubber, leather, spices and garments. Sri Lanka imports steel, ferrous metal wares, a newsprint, asbestos, fertilizer and electrical components. Although Russia is located at a considerable distance from Sri Lanka, it became a very close neighbor when there was pressure from an enemy. During the final battle mooted against LTTE terrorism, Russia displaying its statesmanship fearlessly appeared on behalf of Sri Lanka's sovereignty. At the United Nations, Russia always supported Sri Lanka in almost every resolution brought forward. The most notable one was during the final stages of the humanitarian operations when a ceasefire resolution was introduced to the Security Council. But China and Russia overwhelmingly vetoed the resolution. It is significant that Russia possessed a foreign minister with a lucid awareness on Sri Lanka. Sergei Lavrov is a person excelled not only in politics but also had a knowledge on the Sinhala language. 
He raised his voice on behalf of Sri Lanka, holding several key portfolios at the United Nations. During the final stage of the humanitarian operation, it was Russia which provided the strength by supplying fighter jets and war tanks without merely stopping by imparting training to Sri Lankan forces. Russia is now prepared to bestow its highest honor to the president who is on historic visit to that country. President Dmitry Mendelov and Prime Minister Vladimir Putin relates a tale on honor's friendship on this momentous occasion. Major General and several others have been arrested with regard to a conspiracy to assassinate the President. Information is being surfaced with regard to the attempts made by the groups of the opposition candidate to eliminate President Mahinda Rajapaksa and his family members. A large number of army deserters had been among those who stayed at the Cinnamon Lakeside Hotel in Colombo on the election night along with the opposition leader. The security forces have been informed that armed groups were to remain at several places including the Gaul Road to kill the president and his family members in case the opposition candidate came to power. According to information received, the weapons and bombs stored at Gokarala, Deniyaya and Bodhiraja Rama at Maligawatta were to be used at an emergency. Intelligence reports say that certain senior retired officers who were close to the opposition candidate had been behind the plan. A former major general has been arrested acting on these lines. During the presidential election campaign, he had been a close supporter of the opposition candidate. The Asian Tribune website has reported that he was to be appointed additional defense secretary in case the opposition candidate came into power. The website said that he is being questioned on the information received that he was to give orders to small groups that were placed at certain locations. Meanwhile, the Asian Tribune website had reported that army officers close to the opposition candidate were to be appointed to key positions in his administration, including the portfolio of foreign minister, if he emerged victorious. The selection of UPFA candidates for the upcoming general election will be finalized by 15th of February. Giving further details, General Secretary of SLP, Maitri pa SLFP, Maitri Pala Sena said that the Board of Appeal can be approached by those who feel that justice has not been meted out by the Boards of Nomination. The Board of Appeal comprises the Prime Minister Ratna Siri Vikramanayaka, Minister Maitri Palasiri Sena, DM Jai Ratna, Dallas Alaha Peruma and Parliamentarian Basil Rajapaksa. He said that selecting the candidates of the SLFP will come to an end during the next week. The other parties in the alliance have already handed over their lists of candidates. He said that selection of candidates of the UPFA will be finished by 15th February. Today is the fourth day of the Dieta Kerala Development Exhibition, which is being held at Pallakale in Kandy. We now bring you a report filed by our special representative, Mahesh Senanayaka, from the exhibition's grounds. Good evening. Today is the fourth day of the fourth version of that development exhibition that is taking place here at Palikale in Kandy. An estimated crowd of nearly one million have already patronized uh, the exhibition for today since morning. Well, I'm talking to you from the special exhibition stall that has been set up for the presidential secretariat. One of the most, uh, uh, most striking feature of the presidential secretariat is that uh, some of the important incidents, occasions that took place in the life of President Mahindra Paksha in this first term of office has been photographed and are put on display. Therefore, public will be able to view some of the important occasions, some of the important incidents uh, where President uh, uh, 
uh, was pivotal and uh, where he came across in his first term of office, such as uh, the, some of the meetings with uh, the foreign dignitaries and important incidents like uh, uh, the uh, announcement of elections, the nominations day, and also his participation in uh, different types of uh, uh, religious activities and so on. Apart from this, the media zone and the special area that has been allocated for the three forces have been the crowd pullers for the simple reason that people want to come and view uh, the military hardware, weaponry and uh, the bombs uh, and also other uh, guns and ammunition that was uh, captured by the defeated LTT Tigers are on display as well as some of the military hardware and some of the state-of-the-art equipment are on display which have been used, which were used by the three forces in order to defeat the LTT. Uh, the exhibition is supposed to be extended beyond 10 and and I must say that it's an exhibition that you should patronize since it has much to offer. Thank you very much. I'm Mahesh Sarayaka signing off from that Kerala.